Thank you very much. Mr. Griffin is recognized. He's the uh, subcommittee uh, uh, on Europe and Eurasia vice chair. Thank you, Madam uh, uh, Chairman. Ambassador Wallace, I'd like to. Uh, it's good to see you here. Thanks for uh, uh, testifying today. I'd like to dig a little deeper on the issue of auto manufacturing in Iran, and I apologize for any duplication. There may have been uh, one I was uh, that I might have missed. Um, but I'd like for you to name names in terms of the success that you, uh, as a group, and we collectively have had in. Um, in getting some of the auto manufacturers to stop, to suspend. Uh, and I'd like for you to talk about the, the actors that are still engaged in production or commerce with Iran and what we can do to turn up the heat. Obviously, we can, we can name names, and we should. But could you elaborate a little more on that? Because it seems to me a lot of the commerce with Iran uh, um, is, is in the auto production area. Uh, thank you. It's good to see you as well. It, it's um, not well known, but the Persian automobile sector is the 13th largest in the world. And as Mark testified previously, we had to do better at preventing inflows of products and goods, spare parts. Congressman Sherman uh, asked questions about this previously. And there are major auto manufacturing facilities and employment in Iran. This is a huge sector of their economy. It's 50 percent. Of the, of the country's uh, GDP is in the industrial sector, and 20 percent of it is their automobile manufacturing. This is a sizable part of their economy. We have had some successes in, in having automobile manufacturers um, leave the Iranian market, the likes of Carsan, Hyundai, and Porsche. But there are some real uh, gaping holes. Um, uh, uh, Peugeot right now uh, is a major uh, actor in Iran, major manufacturer uh, in, inside Iran in direct partnership with the IRGC. You cannot manufacture an automobile in Iran without it being manufactured by an IRGC company. Um, we all own parts of Peugeot because we own GM. And this committee has the ability to contact the United States Treasury Department, which is its major, uh, major shareholder, and say to GM, why are you part if you are partnering with Peugeot, impress upon Peugeot that it cannot be the partner of the United States of America and also manufacture automobiles in Iran and sell parts into Iran. They have supposedly uh, slowed down their imports of the Peugeot uh, build kits, but we have to make that a permanent ban. Another example uh, is Nissan. Uh, a major manufacturer. Actually, I, I have a picture of, of the Ahmadinejad, I guess, Pope mobile or dictator mobile, which is a Nissan vehicle, um, where he's riding in a Nissan vehicle. Well, obviously, Nissan sells cars in the United States, and I don't have anything personally against Nissan, but Nissan is a major provider of uh, vehicles to state governments and governments around the country. I would suggest that, and I would respectfully request this committee to, to, to write a letter to our friend Mayor Bloomberg in New York. New York City just awarded a billion, multi-billion dollar contract to Nissan to build the most iconic American vehicle, one of the most iconic American vehicles, the New York City taxi cab, to Nissan. If they are going to build our New York City taxi cabs, they shouldn't be manufacturing cars with the IRGC in Iran. And we should be able to use the power of New York's pocketbook to impress upon our, um, uh, uh, Nissan to stop manufacturing automobiles in Iran. This is an important part of their sector and follows on what Mr. Sherman said, my colleagues on the panel have said, and we can put a real dent in this part of the economy. I would be, uh, be really interested in sitting down and talking with you. I would be happy to uh, help with a, a letter, talk about legislation. Uh, I, I have some notes here that Mercedes is also continuing to do business. Uh, in Iran. Um, I drive a Ford pickup, so I hope there is no issue there. Um, I am sure there is not. We love Ford. Um, by the way, they didn't take any uh, bailout funds. Um, uh, so I also have some notes that some of the uh, companies have suspended auto trade production. Does that mean they still have resources there? They st what, what exactly does suspend? Suspended doesn't mean it doesn't sound like they pulled completely out. Uh, Audi, uh, General Motors, Toyota. Do you have any information on that? 
Yeah, absolutely. We're concerned by the suspension language because there is such a, a large presence in Iran of this automobile manufacturing. Peugeot, we think, is the best example. It's the biggest manufacturer in Iran. And they have, quote, suspended sending in Peugeot build kits into Iran for five months because of the GM partnership. That should be a permanent uh, ban. Uh, looks like I'm out of time, uh, but uh, uh, Madam Chair, I would just say that if, if the, the Federal Government owns part of General Motors and General Motors is doing business with Peugeot and Peugeot is in Iran, uh, that's an outrage and we need to do something about it. Thank you Thank so you. much.